You just wait till we get our meat going and then it's over for you. Did you see the tweet? Holy cow, we got a draw. I'll take that. Did you see the tweet that was like, um, I mean, now you got to go deep into the context minds with me on this one. So just bear with me, okay? There was a, a, a so-called guru tweet with the thread emoji that was like the real menace of Soviet era, blah, 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 was that they invented this flavorless ice cream, okay? I didn't even read the thread. That flavorless ice cream tweet got quote tweeted in German that, and the tweet said like, Americans when the ice cream doesn't have rainbow sprinkles, caramel syrup, and... Uh, Oreo chocolate chips in it and it was a dude on the ground like crying but then in German like the it sounds so silly it's like Americans wenn das it's yada 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 by the way thank you Ninja Zombie for the gifted subscriptions thank you when it doesn't have like Raffin Dauphin Struzel and Oreo Krispies and then all the replies are dunking on the original German poster and saying like why I had no idea that German was such a deeply unserious language I didn't realize man I have been making fun of England I should have been making fun of like Germany this whole time there it is it wrote it thank you I appreciate this what is Regenbogen Struzel is that rainbow sprinkles Regenbogen Struzel that, those are rainbow sprinkles. <laughs> and like, it was like caramel sauce and uh, Oreo Krispies. Oreo Krispies got me so good. I mean, it's not like we don't have silly names in North America. I just, I don't know. I thought that Germans were like a more serious people. In North America, yeah, we're silly. It's like, it's, it's, this is my design. Yo, it's it's so flattering to get a gifted subscription from the librarian. Because you know that they're saying thank you for the bit. I appreciate that. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's not Oreo Krispies. It's Oreo Crunchies. Of course, Oreo Crunchies. My mistake. I only saw the, the tweet uh, briefly before bed last night. Explain Canadian bacon. That's an American thing. Canadian bacon, I'm not going to say if you walked into a Canadian grocery store, you would never see Canadian bacon. All I'm going to say is that we don't really do Canadian bacon here. There's bacon, and then there's like back bacon, and there's pea bacon, and there's ham. But there's not, like I never w really bought Canadian bacon from a grocery store. The hell is pea bacon? It's just back bacon that has... The like cornmeal, but it's the meal of peas instead of corn. It's delicious. It's chocolate. It's mint. It's very refreshing. What the hell is back bacon? I'm gonna give you 0 0.5 seconds to fucking figure it out. Oreo Krispies, <laughs> Oreo Crunchies. Sorry. <laughs> Canadians, when the bacon doesn't have uh, Raffin Faffin Schnitzel and what's the anyway? Struzel, sorry, and Oreo Crunchies. How is it funny? You're making fun of the language for the third time in a row? It's funny because the tweet was making fun of a country, but then the language used in the tweet was very humorous. That's basically. It was like Americans when the ice cream isn't overloaded with sugar, but then like, I just can't believe it's Regan Bogan Struzel and Oreo Crunchies. Like it's, it's so funny. I'm German, so I don't see what's funny about our language. Brother, try it. I'm, I'm English. Well, like I'm from it. North, I was about to say I'm from England. I'm from a country that speaks English and I see hilarious things in the English language all the time. In German, did you know that birth control is called anti-baby pill? Maybe that's what's funny about German, is that that actually is like... Like it's a, a... it's phrasing... like I'm not trying to be rude here. 
It's like a language designed by engineers, which is good. Because English wasn't really designed at all. That shit was just like, you know, it just happened. Like when your bread goes moldy. It's all, it, it, it's funny, maybe, I mean, I'm just, I'm theorizing, I'm not a linguist. But it's like, it's maybe German sounds funny to us as English speakers because it's actually like deliberately crafted. Stop it with the snipers! Oh, brother. That's a good looking team, honestly. It just works in a slightly different way. It's not designed. All right, well, be that as it may, sir. Imagine if it was designed the way I suggested it were, though. Then everything that I said would have been true. I mean, English is just, I, there's probably, someone who's actually knowledgeable about linguistics, feel free to tell me. But please only, I know I'm gatekeeping here, fucking sue me, okay? Please only if you have a degree, no video essay uh, viewers need apply. Why are there so many words in English that have not just multiple definitions, but distinctly very different definitions? Like, for example, why is a trunk the back part of your car that you put your groceries into, and also the bottom of a tree, and also your torso, and also the long thing that comes out of an elephant's face, you know, and also like a, a something Mr. Dress Up puts his costumes into, and you know, et cetera, et cetera. Like why, with all the letters in English, why couldn't they just make different words for different things, or even still, how did trunk come to be like an elephant? Like so many disparate things. Like someone looked at it and said, oh, that thing at the back of the car, that looks a little bit like uh, something you could put clothes into, which looks a little... And then at some point, we're back to the elephant's nose. Like, <clears throat> let me see. I have the answer. A lot of words like that come from both Old Norse and Old English, and both of those languages have different definitions for very similarly spelled words, so when the language is combined, we just made them one word. I'm, I don't know if that's true, but it was first time chatter highlighted message. I'm assuming in my head, the story checks out that there was like a linguist that was like, this is finally my time to chat for the first time, like urgently. It makes sense. It makes sense. Still pisses me off though. <laughs> We need less Windows updates and more language updates. Instead of the, all this dumb shit. You know what we need? You know how we have like, uh, I don't want to call them grammar Nazis. It seems like an antiquated term now, like a deprecated term. Let's call them grammar files. We need grammar files, but that work in the opposite direction. Like, instead of like, oh, you don't actually, you can't say mooses. It actually, moose is the plural because uh, William the Conqueror, when he came over in fucking 1100, blah, 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 regardless, okay? Instead of that, what we need is Miriam Webster to grow a fucking sack and then say, guess what? Starting, like, next year, we're deprecating this old ass shit that doesn't work in English. And then as soon as someone says like, oh, actually, irregardless isn't a word anymore. You can be like, look up, look it up, motherfucker. You're on an old patch, idiot. If you're so fuck, if you get a big old boner for being the only guy in the room who knows uh, the rules of language as if that's a real thing, then read the patch notes, okay? Because they're issuing rule changes for balance reasons every damn day. For some reason, your ass wants to go by the rule set you learned in second grade when you had the third highest mark in English class, okay? We're making the language better, and people like you are being left behind. Makes me want to fucking throw up. Deal, but only if we can disallow people saying would of. Fuck, that pisses me off. You're right. We can't allow people to say that. Also, we can't allow people to say on accident. I'm sorry. It's by accident. It's by... Where did you go up? It's by accident. It was not on accident. You're making yourself sound like a damn fool. We should just have one language for everybody. I don't care what it is. 
I'm with you, except I, unlike the other person, I do care what it is. I want it to be English, because that's the one I already know. And also, a lot of people know it as well. So, I don't think we should pick the language that m the most people know, because that wouldn't be fair. But I definitely think we should take one that, like, a lot of people know. <laughs> Maybe, like, the... <laughs> You know, it could be like the third biggest language or something, or something like that. Spanish? No, not that one. Maybe the second then. You're gonna be like, like, oh, like Tagalog. Finally, I suggested English, the language I knew he wanted me to say anyway. And they said, well, that if that's what you want, Dero, I looked this linguist in the in his optic stems. And I said, Regenbogen, Struzel, and Oreo Crunchies? Greg, no! No, Greg! <laughs> People without kids aren't going to like this bit. But, like, if I was going to learn a new language, it had to be before college. I'm sorry. There's just no time. I can't... I, I'm not saying my brain is incapable of learning a new language at age 34. I just got too much shit on the go. I'm going to have to be learning like two words a day. You know how long it'll take me to learn how to speak Spanish? Learning two words a day on Duolingo? Take a trip to Madrid when I'm 97 years old. Miyamo Ryan dies. Like, it's just, it had to happen when I didn't have as much shit going on. Like, it, it, it had to be in elementary school, the time that they spent teaching us cursive writing. They could have been teaching us like Japanese or something like that. But instead, we spent three hours a day learning, oh, an R in cursive isn't like an R. It looks like a fucking, I don't even know what you'd call it. It looks like a, a, a you're drawing a cartoon cat or something like that. We didn't retain the French either. True, c'est vrai. But I also think that they taught French in like a really bad way, at least in my school. You would have like a few hours of French class a week. And then like if there was ever, if they were behind schedule in like anything, French was the first thing to eat shit. They were never like, oh, we're behind in French. We're going to skip math class for two weeks. They were always like, oh, we're behind in math. We're going to skip French class for two weeks. Then you forget like a third of the shit that you learned. And then you come back and it's like, you've been learning French for nine years. And lesson one is like an apple is called la pomme. And then you get two months off for summer where you have no French at all and you come back in September and everyone's like, what the hell is hello even? Like you just, we basically did 10 years of introductory French every single year where we just recycled the same thing over and over again. There was no progress at all. I think that the curriculum, at least when I was a, when I was a youngster, it was just kind of planned badly. Singing in the bathtub, sitting all alone, tearing out a tonsil just like a baritone. What is wrong with this guy? Singing lots of songs, singing in the bathtub is like writing all your wrongs.